Welcome back to another episode of How Can Jared Slow Down Jesse's Progress of Finishing the 240. Today, I don't know, what are we doing today, Jesse? Fix the shifter, then we are going to do wiring. Those are lovely goggles. Way to be safe. <laughs> so we're gonna cut the shifter right now because it has a little jog in it and we don't want that. We need it to come straight up so it's a little bit easier. I thought we should just use this whole rod so then it would be like really tall shifting. Jesse said it was a bad idea. We'll see, we'll see who's right. So he's gonna cut that right now and make loud noises. He thinks he's strong enough to use his hand as a vice. <laughs> Ooh, that's warm. All right. Hopefully you can hear me. While Jesse does the loud stuff, I'm gonna be in here trying to get this center console to fit. Let me show you. So, we have the OEM center console to cover up all this mess. Well, my job is, I need it, I need to get it to fit over this. So I have this kind of disassembled and I've been fitting it over and seeing where I need to cut to get it to work so we can utilize that center console still. So it cleans up all this mess. Um, so I want to trim as little as possible to make it fit. And I think it's actually going to fit pretty well. This, this part of the hydro I think is going to fit right up through the e-brake slot. Why you gotta be so loud? I am working. I'm sorry, I'll stop working. No, no, no. <laughs> Proceed with the loud noises. So let's see how it goes. And hopefully I don't cut it and fuck it up. First mock-up. Oh, not even close. <laughs> it didn't stay. Looks nice and straight now. Yeah. Does that feel good? You wanna go lower? No, I think that's good. Okay. I'll just do it straight up then. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah, I'll do it right a here. A little tilted out. Yeah. Just, just to get it away from this. Yeah, just to get it away from that. You don't want me to bang my knuckles? Nope, no knuckle banging. Okay. Hmm. So snug. Always making noises. Hmm. He made me sit in the seat so he could measure where the shifter would feel good. But getting in and out of the seat is a pain in the ass. Jesse. So I'm gonna stay here until he's, until he's ready for me again. I gotta weld this up. Oh, never mind. He has to weld stuff. I'm getting out. Maybe. Doing well. Uh. I am not excited for the roll cage that like the two bars that are going across the door. That's gonna make it such a pain in the ass to get out. Oh my god. Or maybe it'll help, I don't know, handles to like push out on. It'll, it'll give you something to pivot on instead of pivoting on the seat rail. Okay. Or, you know, the side of the seat. See, so it'll be easier. Well. <laughs> Easier-ish, ish. in theory. Ish. All right, my turn with the weird goggles. I'm gonna try to cut this and not mess it up. I need to notch that little corner out with that huge cutting disc. 
because that's what we have to work with. Seems safe. Seems safe. Okay, status update. My trimming actually went pretty well. So that's fitting. Obviously I'm gonna have to trim back here a little bit so we can get the cylinder on there, but all in all, it's coming together. New dilemma. This e-brake. Where have you guys that have done this put the e-brake? I mean, if we get rid of the center console, we can just mount it here. That's what we were thinking about doing before. But now that I want it in so it looks clean, what do I do? One option was to like curve it around and mount it back here. What do you guys think? I mean, I know that puts a lot of curvature and stress on the actual line. Hmm. What have you guys done? If any of you have found a better spot to put the e-brake with the center console back in, since the stock location is no not available, let me know. Comment down below. What should we do? What is a good solution? And remember, right where I'm sitting, this blank area, there's going to be a passenger seat, so we can't do anything right here. Uh, behind the center console? I think I'm gonna try it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let me show you this. Got this beautiful little mount for our ARC switch panel to turn everything on. It makes it nice and clean. It's sitting inside the old vents. So that's gonna look awesome. And we have a radio delete. So it's going to be a flat metal panel here where we're going to put the other switches. And that'll go right over the shifter as well, so we'll have to kind of modify it a little bit, but everything is going to be closed off and clean. Ooh, it's going to look so good. I just want it done. All right, there's the shifter. It is now nice and straight up. Very shifty. Let's see if we can see that shitty weld. Thank you. Just kidding. Nope, can't see it. It's too dark. Beautiful welds done by Jesse. Oh my gosh. Now I have to go make some major cuts on this center console that I'm super nervous about. Little bits at a time. No nervous. Just do it. Just do it. I believe in you. Still thinking about this. Stupid e-brake. We don't need an e-brake. No. <sighs> just use a bungee cord on this. <laughs> just keep it locked in. Yes. You just call my switch panel that I, I made? I said it's beautiful, okay? You said it was a piece of shit. I did not say that. That was rude. Those words did not come out of my mouth. I spent a lot of time on that. Uh-huh. Rude. Okay. That is rude. Uh, status update. Center console is in. Trimming is done. Looks pretty good. Shifter is in. Put the little coin dish in there. That'll complete it. Maybe. Ta-da! That looks nice and clean. So then we just have this panel, the delete panel that's gonna come in and cover all this. We'll have to trim a little bit right here. Other than that, it's beautiful. So now, onto the wiring. No! <laughs> he sounds excited. Well, as you can see, we have the headlights back in, the Harnai, is connected because we're gonna need these clips because you know I like to party and I decided to take all the harnesses off and not leave any wiring behind. Jesse said that's not the way to party. So we've had to grab the harnesses and match up all the plugs so we can get some wires and wire it correctly and rewire the whole car. I just like to waste time. 
I just want to hang out with you, Jesse. I just want you to be up I, here longer. I just want to be your friend. And you're not letting me do that. I don't even know what these are. I don't know what they are, just throw them away. I need an adult. That's, that's the way I do it. I just need an adult. So as you can see, we are diving deep into wiring finally. The final stages, yeah? So for the final stages, since I threw everything away, or took it all out, it's gonna take forever. The extended final stages. But hopefully Jesse's genius and amazingness. Flattery, flattery will get you everywhere. Exactly. His genius is gonna make this go really quick. So we should be done in about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> that is badass. I don't like doing that. <laughs> Why? Because. It's just full send, open it up as wide as you can. Because well, it, it's a 12 volt system and I'm running it on 18 volts. Oh, that's okay. So it's like, <laughs> hello! <laughs> right, here's what Jesse's mastermind has so far. He's kind of laying out all the wiring, where it's connected, you know, starting from the battery, going through the breaker, and then all the panels, the AEM, the dash, and then out to all the accessories. We have our panel here that we have the starter, ignition, headlights, tail lights, wiper, and then some interior lights set up. And now, now what? Now what, Jesse? I'm gonna use this to control the blinkers. Okay. With the, the rocker switch. Yeah. So the blinkers with the rocker switch, and then I'll also use this to control the headlights turning up and... Oh, the adjusting? Yeah. Up and down? Yeah, individually. <laughs> the winky, the winky control? Yes. I have the, the like blinker relays. All right, oh. All right, so we are gonna call it a day. Uh, we kind of laid everything out. We drew up the schematic. Oh, I did this, so you can see this. I fabricated the OEM bezel here, so now I have some turn signals. Since we kind of deleted those, I drew them out. I still have them, but I tore them off. I didn't want it. Clean it up, make it as clean as possible. Uh, we got the, a new throttle cable in. So if you can see this one, the one before was like extending all the way down here to the radiator. So a new throttle cable that came out of a twin turbo Supra, that fit perfect. Uh, we got the igniter that we need. Nothing's focusing, oh, it's on my hand. Got the igniter that we need right there. So now we just have to, and it's, I mean, it's gonna take a while, but build the harness to match up with all like the plugs, so we have all the plugs and the wires just stripped, so we just have to, we just have to wire that in, wire it into the ECU, which doesn't seem like a lot, but like Jesse was saying before, 20% of the work takes 80% of the time, and we're at that 20% of the work. So we probably have like 40, 50 more hours left i hate to say that like it's so close it feels so close but all these little things are going to take a while so that's it for today we got quite a bit done uh that we needed to to prepare for the wiring so now we just literally jesse's going to go get some wiring diagrams and then we're just going to start wiring just buckle down and get it done the center console i'll show you again so center console's in Looks good, we just have to wait for the pieces to cover up that. So yeah, it is looking like a car now. Headlights are in, we just have to finish up the wiring. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these 240 builds. We're getting there, little bits at a time. I know these videos are kinda short progress here and there, but it's the best we can do for right now, so. We will see you guys next time. Hopefully that's soon, maybe sometime next week, we'll do another video on the 240 and we'll start getting this wiring done, the wiring harnesses. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.